I'm the cameraman. <laughs> okay. All right, that's Ray, the cameraman. All right, what do you need to uh, um, change a, uh, a paintball tank main valve? You need a forklift. No, I'm just kidding. And you don't need an entire shop like this. What you need is you need a paintball tank. Aha, here we have one. And uh, the paintball tank will more likely than not. <clears throat> Hold this camera, please, and put it on my action. Um, <clears throat> paintball tank is going to have a pin valve. It has a pin valve because you see there is a pin on the inside there. Depressing that pin lets the gas out. I'll show you. You need to always make sure. I don't know if I can do this or not, but I'm going to try. Yeah, I'm going to need something better to press that down with. You need to always empty the tanks. You cannot, and if you want to use your bare hands, knock yourself out. But just probably it's a lot smarter. To use gloves. I'm not trying to be smart today, so I'm just going to let the uh, gas out here. So I'm just bleeding the tank. And as you can see, if you get a close up on here, you can see that this is well frosted up. Okay, this gets very cold. The gas uh, boils in the tank at about 100 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. So anyway, it gets very, 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 very cold. And you want to make sure that you bleed your tank completely. Now, you can't rush over here with a wrench and go taking this off. That is not possible. These tanks are uh, built so that the valves go in extremely tightly to keep your average Joe guy from, you know, opening this thing while there's pressure in the tank and this coming out like flying like a bullet and, uh, you know, blowing a hole in his head or something. That's not what you want. But if you got a pin valve and you want to replace that pin valve with a nice uh, on-off valve, an on-off valve allows you to turn the gas on and turn the gas off. It does not have a pin. There's no pin. You turn the gas on and off with this knob. So you want to get this valve out and put this valve in. The tools that you need are you need a strap wrench. Strap wrenches wrap around the tank and allow you to get a good grip on the tank and turn it. You need a vise, like this vise. <clears throat> you need to carefully put the pin valve, uh, the hex fitting of the pin valve in the vise, all right? And get yourself a good, uh, a good grip on it. Get a shot from over here, Ray, so you can, no, over here. You need to come over here. There you go. Make sure they can see that there's a, a possible interference there. So you can be careful. This uh, little uh, nut sticking out the side is a 3,000 PSI pressure release valve. So if the tank ever got to 3,000 PSI, the, the excess pressure would bleed out this pressure relief valve. It's much like a pressure relief valve on your hot water heater designed to uh, blow before your whole tank blows, okay? All right, so you put it in there good and tight. And then put a strap wrench on it. And the strap wrench allows you to get a good, a good hard bite on it. And you give it a good strong push. All right. And then the strap wrench turns your tank and unscrews the main valve. The main valve has a, uh, um, <clears throat> a rubber or elastomeric... Uh, seal at the bottom of it and uh, that seals your uh, your valve okay now it's a good thing that we bled the pressure out of this tank first because had we not bled the pressure out when we opened that valve we'd have had gas come spewing out all over the place so uh, that's the reason why people don't want you to uh, uh, you know, fool around with these things. If you don't know what you're doing, then uh, you, you know, you shouldn't be doing it because you can get hurt. So once this is out, okay, we're finished with this. This is trash. You can recycle it. You can do whatever you want, but, you know, it's 50 cents worth of brass. Do whatever you want with it. Now we get the, uh, 
the on-off valve, like I told you, there's a little uh, sealing ring on all of these valves. So this sealing ring here will do the, do the job that it's supposed to do once this is installed on the tank. So screw this in there and get a, get a decent shot on it. Okay, and again now, this is not something that you're going to go after with a wrench and try to tighten it up. It ain't going to happen. You've got to tighten this one on with the vise and the strap wrench, just exactly like the other. And you've got to be careful. You don't want to hit your, uh, your little exhaust 3000 K, KPSI or uh, uh, 3 KPSI uh, pressure relief valve. That's there for a purpose, to keep your tank from blowing up if it got too much pressure inside. So we'll carefully, we'll put this in, and I'll make sure that the vice jaws are not coming in contact with the pressure relief valve. And uh, it's clear to me that they're not. Let me see that for a moment. And uh, you can see that I do have some clearance here between the pressure relief valve and the jaws of the vise. All right, right. It's this process. Okay, so you tighten this up then uh, with your hands. I'm going to tighten your vise up. You put the strap wrench back on. And when you do put the strap wrench on, you should go uh, close to the bottom rather than way up here at the top. It's better if you don't torque the, uh, the whole thing. So uh, we're going to tighten up a little more here. Really push. Let me get my strap wrench adjusted a little better here. Okay. All right. Let me see if I can do this. Really, really tight. Really putting the torque to it. Okay. Here we go. Take it out of vice. And now you have a properly installed on-off valve on your tank. You turn this on to open it, turn it off to close it. Alright, does everybody understand that? I sure hope so. Stop the video.